So here I am with my old friend Mick Rock, and he's got a great book here. I mean, it's got everything in it. It's got everything from Sid Barrett, Sid Barrett to Lady Gaga. To Lady Gaga. There you go. Perfect. And, and it includes all the notes. True. I'm in the book. That's right. Yeah, there it is. The skinny young boys. Yeah, they were like about 12 or 13 then, right? Yeah, yeah. Must have been. Yeah, because around 12 13. 30 years ago, you couldn't have been a day over that. Exactly, exactly. Well, you, you, you actually did, I because I yeah, used to do it. We, we wrote you, that, didn't we? You did all that. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, you just gave me a, a, a spray thing. can. And not long before that, I got Iggy to do something. I think maybe that was... But anyway, there's a great one where he's painted as well. So this actually goes from Sib Barra through David Bowie, Lou Reed, Iggy Pop. Well, that's early I mean, David Bowie, man. So that's, you know, it's just a party picture, but it's those three at that moment in time. The oh, thing yeah. about the three of them together, the good, the bad, and no, the bad, the, um, the more the bad. The bad, the worse, and, and the, and the, the worse. extremely <laughs> naughty, yes. I used, I used to call them the unholy trinity, whatever <laughs> it was. These characters were on a blue tear. But you got to know David yeah, yeah. a bit a bit later on. John and I opened for him a couple times in uh, on, the, on the Stardust, on the Ziggy Stardust. I days. think that's what turned me on, even though I probably, obviously wasn't there, but that's yeah. what turned me on to Abandoned Lunch and There you go. And, and then we up. opened for Lou Reed, too. During the war baby stuff. Yeah, well, so, we, so no wonder you ended up with all that schlack and tickle on yeah, your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Piano puff, yeah, as, yeah. as David used to call it. There you go, man. He actually says in the Ziggy Stardust book that I did with David is that um, Pierre was probably the best makeup artist he ever worked with. Yeah. But he he's referring to Pierre Laroche, which who was a who was a makeup artist. Worked with, he was on the road with the Stones when I met him. Yes. He used to work with David. And he's the guy that was responsible for the silver album cover. So I blame him for that. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. but he was good. You're right. He was great. But the thing is, and you can argue it either way, and at this stage, it's irrelevant. Oh, yeah, exactly. Guys, but it's, it's still... It's still one of your most memorable covers, People even because it was it. so fucking surreal. But I want to get to the one of Bono, must be further to the back, and Lady Gaga. Yeah, there we are. That you need to see. I was taken at a party in New York. Yeah, that's amazing. I mean, so you got things from 1970 through yesterday, which is Lady Gaga, which is now. So many pictures that he's passed through here that everybody knows. They're like the pictures, you know, iconic pictures of these guys. I know every one of these pictures. You've seen them a million times. When people say to me, what is your biggest achievement? I mean, you could name many things, but I bet one of them is to say, I'm here now and I'm playing. Yeah. Because that's though. what I see the most important, uh, the most important thing is to have been able to practice what you love to do. Absolutely. Forever. <laughs>